kudos to this mother for standing her ground. Thousands of black men that have been murdered. But you won't hear Joe Biden talk about that because those black men did not have a wig on. And say what you would like to say. So according to a study that was done by the National Center for Transgender Equality and the National LGBTQ Task Force, so when there is a parent or parents or loved ones in the home who do not support the identity of the transgender individual, 51% have attempted suicide, 48% have become homeless, 47% have become addicted to drugs and substances, and 29% have actually had to engage in sex work. You're not going to guilt me into accepting him as a woman because you feel like if he makes a bad decision, that it's going to be my fault. No. If he were to listen to me, I wouldn't have to worry about those things because let's talk about some of those numbers that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Even when Joe Biden, during his presidential debate, was talking about legalizing young children transitioning, he said his reason was because so many transgender women of color had been murdered. And he said, I think the number now is up to 17. Now, as a leader in the black community, there are thousands of black men that have been murdered. But you won't hear Joe Biden talk about that because those black men did not have a wig on. So I'm not going to elevate. This Excuse me. Not I'm not done. Politics. I'm not going to elevate. I'm done. not going to elevate is the issue of transgenderism over black men because at the end of the day, y'all still black men. Well, duh.